There. Welcome to another edition of my uh, instrument review. This time I'm featuring RJ Baby Masa. So uh, again, this is one of the cheapest instruments that you'll see in the market. I think if I'm not mistaken, it's around, around 1,000 pesos. So practically, um, let me share to you Mona Cosmetics. So matte finishing. That's what I can tell you about this. Um, hindi siya glossy. And you, know, you can see here, medyo rough edges pa yung kanyang bang paint. And yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys na no, this is a damaged instrument kasi this is, I think, uh, a two-year-old instrument. Nabagsak to ng mga bata. So, makikita nyo may <laughs> may duct tape dito. But, um, surprisingly, it's still functional, you know? Um, yeah, so, we have here, like, ilang frets to. So, about 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 frets. Okay? And, yeah, let's talk about the, ano po, let's talk about the, um, the action. Um, needless to say, masakit sa daliri. So, yeah, I, I don't know if you can see it here on this perspective. Medyo may kataasan siya, my friends. So, yeah. Okay, so, another thing here is, yeah, considering this, cheap instrument no? so, so one thing that you can expect sa tuning keys niya here uh, I think this is one of the cheapest tuning keys that uh, we have so in the long run kapag kaya medyo hindi ka maingat and you know you don't know how to maintain this type of instrument tumaano siya tumitigas siya uh, to the point na medyo mahirap siya nito no? so what I did is that I tuned this for um, I tuned this as in, in business standard tuning I applied it as you know, E flat tuning but I don't know it keeps on getting loose let's see that's the E chord and you know from the sound of it I think you can make a judgment now oh, that's the D chord that's the G C Let's start about the pros. First off is that, yeah, um, this is a light instrument. They can bring it everywhere, you know. Um, siya, malit lang siya. Um, on the other hand, of course, uh, looking on the air of the two pieces that uh, we can notice here, I think uh, may improve sana to kung, you know, um, the manufacturers could have thought about the action kasi masyado siyang mataas and I think this is one of the problems niyan on the RG when it comes to its acoustic guitars medyo mataas yung action niya I mean physically they're good cosmetics uh, somehow it's good pero um, if you're going to talk about playability and you know um, how are you going to use it medyo masakit siya si daliri especially kapag nandito ang sumayin pa na 12 fret Okay, let pa lang eh. Kung magba-parkour ka, kung magba-parkour. Okay, so that's B, F sharp. Medyo kapag ka medyo matagal-tagal ka na nagpe-play, nararamdaman mo medyo masakit talaga siya sa daliri. So, then of the day, I think that is one of the things that RJ can make improvements with. And about the material itself, again, just like you, um, RJ Lespo, it's made of um, light materials. So, konting ihip lang, konting bagsak lang, and spasak ka agad. So, in the hands of a you know, um, pure instrumentalist, this will be taken care of. Pero kapag ito ay imang irerigalo mo lang sa mga bata or what, uh, I don't think this will last. So then again, yeah, it's up to you. Uh, always think about the uh, the uh, building economy. Like if you support, if you buy local, practically you're helping the economics. But again, at the end of the day, you have to take a um, serious decision if you're going to. I mean, if I'm going to purchase this, I know what are the things that I can work on, especially the transaction. But otherwise, if you are not really 
um, well versed in terms of the uh, technicality of the instrument better yet invest on something that you know that would really last okay so uh, that's it for me and i hope you enjoyed my